What's going on guys, it's Northern Rides and welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Now this video took a while to get out, It's it's been over a week since my last upload and the reason for that is solely because of this roller coaster. This coaster was hard to make. This, what you're watching right now is actually my fourth attempt on building the GTI that I wanted to build. I have made several as I said, three other uh, variants of a GTI, and I wasn't satisfied with any of them. This was the first one that I was actually satisfied with, and I think it turned out pretty good. So, what is a GCI? Well, a GCI, or GCI, is a roller coaster manufacturer that makes very twisted, very weird wooden roller coasters. Because, uh, let's face it, GCI Woodies are very weird. They move in ways that no other manufacturer would make their coasters move. Uh, and you'll see that here in a sec, but first of all, uh, I got a lot of inspiration at the beginning from uh, from Twisted Colossus at Magic Mountain, the little twisty section I had before the lift hill, and then the actual drop here uh, I got 100% from Mystic Timbers at King's Island. I was very inspired by that drop, it's a very good GCI drop, it's not uncommon, it's not common either, and I really wanted to tr try to make something like that, and it's not a very easy drop to make. It, the twisted drop, because uh, you also have to turn it before you bank it and, and such, and now what we're getting into here is what makes GCIs really weird. What GCI likes to do with their coasters is on a lot of hills. They like to bank and unbank while going up and down, but without turning. There's also no hard lining really in that area as far as I can tell. So it just, as you saw right there, goes absolutely straight while it banks a good 60 degrees to the right. And this portion right here, it, this was very difficult to make. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do here. I wanted to go over to the other side, but also wanted it to turn so I did a little twisty section where I made like a very uh, like something that was just barely a double down uh, which was again the twisty stuff because the thing that GCI also likes to do uh, also likes to do is to like imagine that you're doing a turn then suddenly you completely stop turning but the track is still just as banged and then it just drops down while being banged and going straight and then it keeps turning afterwards. Just like I do right here. It goes straight and goes down while it still is as spanked as it was when it was turning. And so, uh, and this exact same here when it's gonna go down. It's a very weird thing and I don't know how it feels uh, so I couldn't like try to recreate a certain feeling. Only what I thought it was gonna be like because I haven't ridden a GCI in real life. I will hopefully soon because I am hopefully planning to go to Europa Park at some point in the in the very near future. But uh, until then, I'm not gonna know what it's actually like to ride a GCI. But I've seen a ton of videos. I've really tried to get as much inspiration as I could. Uh, the three main GCI woodies I have based this on is, as I said, Mystic Timbers, and then. Woden Timber Coaster at Europa Park and Wood Coaster in China. Uh, I don't remember where that is in China, <laughs> I gotta admit. Uh, the little turnaround up there is also kind of a mix of Wood Coaster and Woden. And here, down here is very much Mystic Timber. It's a little twisty section, very low to the ground. It has a hard right bank here because the thing about the, the thing about um, GCI's is they're both smooth and not smooth at all. It's very weird because you see the section I'm trying to build right now is supposed to be 100% smooth. There's absolutely no trigger, absolutely no hard transitions or anything. And then suddenly what you're seeing right here is the thing that GCI will do where it just has a very hard transition from turning to suddenly not turning. Like, they're very hard in their movement, as well as very smooth. It kinda, it's kinda like, you know, they use two different methods, uh, methods as, 
they use two different methods of building. It, again, just like the drop, the first drop was very smooth, at least I hope I made it very smooth, but it was, it was supposed to be smooth. And then here it's a very, it's very rough, it's, well it's not rough, but it's not smooth in the movement. It might be smooth to feel, but, you know, the track placement is not smooth. Just like I wanted it, uh, just like I wanted it to. And now what you're seeing here is something that hasn't been done on any GCI before. I love looking at wave turns on RMC roller coasters, and I thought, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there was a GCI someday with a wave turn. So you know what? I made a wave turn on this thing. I really wanted it. If you don't know what a wave turn is, it's the turn that I made just before where it's banked 90 degrees uh, and it's going down. It's, but instead of turning the way that it's actually going, it actually turns the other way. So it's kind of like sideways airtime. And as you can see, this ride has a lot of close encounters with itself. The good thing about building a wooden roller coaster is the fact that you can actually see how much distance you need between the track uh, when it comes to the side. Just like I was trying to do here, I was trying to make a very short brake run so it could turn until, you know, before it hit that other part of track. And again here, it's very smooth, uh, supposedly with the way it's turning, or it was supposed to be smooth at least. I'm actually not, uh, I don't think this turnaround was the best uh, I could have made, but you know what, I'm actually quite satisfied with the result. Right here, I was kind of lost, I didn't know what to do, I didn't have too much speed to go over there, like over that other track, because it will have to go really high, and then it will lose speed, so I just built a tunnel, I, well, not a tunnel, I built, a uh, a gatch a, a, like a canyon a little canyon i built a hole essentially in the floor in the ground not in the floor <laughs> and then we got the result G gci's man they're just so they're so odd but they're so cool as well like everyone loves gci's and they look like they should be rough as hell but they just aren't they really are not rough which is what I think is so awesome about GCIs, and I can't wait to ride my first someday, which, as I said, will probably be Wodan Timber Coaster at Europa Park. Hopefully, I will actually get to go there this summer. Uh, Wodan is the tallest and the fastest of the GCIs, so I'm super excited to ride that coaster. It's a bucket list coaster of mine. It's one of my many GCIs bucket list coasters. I've added a lot more since my bucket list coaster video actually but anyway here we are getting into the smoothing and as, as you can see I'm starting out with a completely normal smoothing and then the big hill there is just one piece and then I just leave that out of the smoothing the same with here I smooth here and then the part where it just goes straight banked I just leave that completely alone and here again one big piece where it just goes down and unbanks completely leaving that alone is just how it should be already and again here, so that's kind of the thing. It's it's a very odd type of coaster to smooth because you don't you don't just smooth it, or at least I don't think you should smooth it in just one big go. Instead, you smooth it in different portions. You figure out what has to be smooth, what doesn't have to be smooth, and you essentially go for the, from there. Also, because it's a wooden coaster, and I don't feel like like wooden coasters obviously aren't the smoothest in the world. They can definitely be smooth. GCIs definitely can be smooth, but I just didn't uh, like I I didn't smooth most of the coaster, both forwards and backwards. Also, here where you can see, I'm actually I actually am smoothing the uh, the part where it's supposed to go straight while it has a bank. That's right, I am smoothing it there, but I'm not smoothing it all. I'm not smoothing the turning, and I'm not smoothing the uh, height. I'm only smoothing the banking, so the hard, the harsh turning is just the same, just like I want it to. And it's only in the portions where I actually built those parts out of 4 meter pieces, because other places I build them out of one, like one big piece. But if it's a smaller, more rapid transition, it's best to just do it with... Um, with the four meter pieces. And so here I'm kind of testing out to see how smooth the coaster got, to see where I should change it, uh, where I should maybe smooth it a little more. And I got, there were two places that I had to change. Uh, this part right here wasn't smooth at all. It was very, 
very unsmooth. Like it was too unsmooth, I suppose. And the same with the transition into the wave turn. And so what I did there was use autocomplete, which should make the uh, transition smoother, and it did, which is very great. Uh, but anyway, guys, okay. sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are getting to the end of the video. So besides from the coloring here, which is supposed to be just like a tree, I suppose, there's not really a lot special to the... Uh, coloring it's themed to wood it's themed to trees anyway guys that is that has been today's video it has been northern rides and i hope you all keep on riding